Hello and welcome to our series on Ireland's native trees. In this episode we're going to be talking about alder. Alder wouldn't be one of our most widely recognised trees even though they are very common. Alder trees they don't grow into a huge magnificent showy specimen like a common ash or, or an oak, a sessile oak for instance. But they are very very tough and they do an awful lot for us and they do an awful lot for wildlife. Alders are great trees to have, especially if you live in a damp part of the country. So Alnus glutinosa is the Latin name and to identify an alder tree you've got to look at the leaf of course and you've got to feel the leaf and the leaf is very round sometimes larger than my palm quite often around about the same size it has a little indent on the top and that's how you tell it's different from say hazel straight away hazel will have its little point whereas this has a little indent slightly serrated around the edges but the other thing with alder is when you feel it it's smooth but it's sticky it's got these strong strong veins but the stickiness especially at the base of the leaf is the real giveaway and alnus glutinosa is latin name glutinosa meaning gluish or gluey and that has that gluey sticky feel to it alder trees in winter time have very beautiful delicate looking purple buds that's another thing that helps them to jump out and then their bark the bark has the brown color with an awful lot of little spots all the way along it which is the way that the tree breathes the way that the tree helps or it helps the tree allows the tree take in carbon dioxide and capture that carbon separated from oxygen cleaning the air for us and cooling the earth for us at the same time you'll often get alder trees growing in very damp places they grow at the edges of rivers at the edges of lakes in fact alder car is the name for an alder forest a wetland forest they like to have um, a soil that is is wet or waterlogged an awful lot of the time a lot of trees if you planted them into a muddy puddle of water they wouldn't survive willow wood aspen does and alder does it's very very tough and drinks a huge amount of water so a great tree to have if you're trying to dry out a bit of bit of your field or a bit of your your garden a bit of your lawn alder trees they'll grow quite quickly and they will suck up huge amounts of water drying out a whole area and if they're planted at the edge of a river at the edge of a pond at the edge of a lake all of those roots they help to hold the edge of the river together so alder trees are very important for our riverside not just by providing shade over the river for the fish and not just for providing shelter for the birds and the insects but also for holding that riverbank together in times of flood Whereas if you take away those trees at the edge of rivers and lakes, well then the mud is vulnerable to big floods, to being washed away. It doesn't have the root structure to hold it together. And alder provides that service for us. Another way to identify alder trees is by their cones. They're unusual in that they're not a coniferous tree, but they have these little brown cones. The green to start off with, that's this year's ones. And then eventually, come next year, come springtime, they will open up and they will turn brown and they'll drop all their little seeds and the little seeds are amazing they can survive for up to four weeks in water they don't sink for the first four weeks they have little air pockets around the edge of them and they have an oiliness to the outsides of the seeds which gives them a waterproofing and they will float down whatever river or stream that they're in and then when they get stuck in a little bit of mud and there's enough light in springtime they'll germinate and start to grow and then start to do their role of holding that river bank that river edge together and of course drinking a huge amount of water as well but those same cones are very good for wildlife those cones in the winter time you will often get visiting flocks of finches goldfinches chaffinches siskins birds like that and they will land on the alder tree and they will peck away so it's a lovely tree to have in your own garden and your own grounds because as well as drying out the land for you as well as providing a lot of shelter for insect life and hence for spiders and then the robins and the bats and whatnot will predate on them but you're also providing lovely little bird feeders in the winter time natural bird feeders and if you're lucky enough you might have a charm of goldfinches come and visit you so the wood from alder trees has been used and is still used a lot to this day but it's been used extensively it is very rot resistant once it stays immersed in water so a lot of the buildings in Venice for instance are built on piles or big big trunks of alder 
if an alder tree is cut down and put submerged into water straight away and if there's a soft muddy substrate underneath it will actually set down roots for a short while until it's depleted all its energy and help to fix itself to the bottom and once that wood stays submerged stays wet constantly well then it's very very slow to rot it was used in ireland and across europe as the material for making clogs and would often then be used those clogs would be used in fish factories and places that were damp places that were going to be uh, subject to a lot of water all the time and alder was known as to be quite an easy wood to work and it didn't splinter or crack very easily and also when it's cut it starts off kind of creamy color but it goes a deep deep red color very very quickly so that adds its own beauty so even though it mightn't be the most impressive tree it mightn't be the biggest of the trees it is still very beautiful and very useful for wildlife and in the winter time with those cones attracting the birds with those attractive catkins late into the winter and spring and with the bare bark reflecting some lovely low winter light it's a lovely tree to have in your garden in your locality in your town park or on your farm mm -hmm.